Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So I have another Ameritron AL572. I was using my log splitter and I split my finger open pretty good, so I haven't been able to do anything for a bit. I have cleaned my shop and I'll be testing the 6 meter amp soon. But I want to get this done first. And I have a couple other amps here. Drake L7. But anyway, so... Someone replaced the plate blockers at some point. They did a really bad job, so I'm going to take these out, put new ones in. They left the old leads in, in, in here. The SO239s have no grip whatsoever. Just, so I'm going to change those. Grids are not grounded. I'm going to change those. One of the tubes had failed, one of the original tubes, so. Took out the grid loading resistor. So I'm going to. Ground the grids and air variable on the plate side has arc damage. I'll show that after it's been removed. It's a real pain. The whole front panel has to come off. This one has to come out. Not an easy job, but I will get it done. So, relays, deoxygol, to clean the rotary switches with deoxygol, the advanced switch, and put rotary switch. And uh, get this thing working again. So, I'll see you guys soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so grids are now grounded. I added gas discharge tubes also for added protection. One here, one there. Directly to ground. Grounded, 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 and grounded. So, the old components. There's another resistor. Okay, so one of these screws was seized in there, so I had to get it out and the insert came out so nothing I can do about that looks like this thing was uh, I don't know if it got wet or something at some point but let's see kind of nasty but okay so I'm gonna put the cover back on and I will remove the capacitor next I'll show you that so you can see what that looks like see you soon okay so a lot of people don't understand that this is a lot of work to get this cap out. Whole well, front panel has to come off carefully. So, got the load side out, the load air variable capacitor. As you can see, as you can see uh, where was the plate? It's going to be turning. damage in between there. It's hard to see, but I'll, I'll show it when it's pulled out. You can see closer. So I also forgot to point out before that the resistor here on the parasitic board is damaged. You can see it's all burnt up under the board on the board, on the top side of the board. So I'm going to replace all four resistors. The caps look okay. So I think I can save the board. The traces look okay. It just got really hot. So, so I'm going to take that out and I'll be back. See you soon. Hey, you can see the capacitor has been removed. Here it is. There's that damage I was showing before between the plates. Let me get back to it. It's right there. So you can see, started melting it right here on the corner, right there. There's no way to really clean it with it. I mean, to get at it, to clean it, you'd have to take it out. So, you know, and then you, if you try to file that down, there's no guarantee it's not going to arc again. So, I always change it. I don't take shortcuts. Probably put this into an open. That's my best guess. Okay, so... I'm going to take the new one out of the box, directly from Ameritron, and I will get her in there. S stay tuned. See you soon. Okay, so we're back with the completed Ameritron AL572. Got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company. Great customer service. So, I changed the resistors on the parasitic board. I changed the plate blocking capacitors, I grounded the grids, put the gas discharge tubes in, 
change the plate tune air variable capacitor, change the SO239 connectors, clean both relays over here with deoxid gold, clean the band switch and the input rotary switch with deoxid gold. I had to fix the wiring on the plug, the line plug, and uh, also tighten the nut on the key line jack. So this thing is all set and good to go. If you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. One last thing, I'm going to show you the old part. So here are the old resistors. Yeah. The old plate blockers. The damaged grid loading resistor. The old cap and the old SO239. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. 73.